So the idea of this video is to take you guys through the basics and the fundamentals of spray painting and a little bit of panel beating too. So we're going to do uh, two panels. Uh, we've got this gold one here, this bumper bar I'm going to be doing. We'll fix a scratch in this one. We've got a little scratch here and we've got this bonnet here or this hood and I've we'll put a small little dent in there and I'll put a couple of scratches there. So this panel here, we're going to be using rattle cans on it or aerosol cans on it and this bumper bar here, we're going to be using a spray gun and we're going to be using two pack clear instead of the acrylic. So we'll take you through the, the materials and tools required for the job for starters. So obviously we've got our, our colour for the bonnet, the black for the bonnet. We've got our clear coat for the bonnet. We've also got our spray gun, which we're going to be using on the bumper bar. And we've got our colour for the bumper bar that's pre-mixed. So that's for the Mitsubishi bumper bar. We've got some gun wash reducer or gun wash thinners. We've got a container to mix up our clear in. We've got a stirring stick here. We've got a few rags. Uh, we've got our 2K clear, we've got our 2K hardener, also got our respirator. Um, we've got some silicon remover. We've got some polish, some cutting compound, and a mini buff. So we've also got some masking tape. We've got an air duster gun. We've got a couple of these softback sanding sponges. I've got 500 and 800 grit. We've also got a palm sander, a block, some scotch Bright pad, 400, 180. We've also got a razor blade and some 1K primer. Now this is available in the rattle cans as well. So if you were just doing it at home with minimal tools, you could do that. Um, we've got some polyester filler, which we'll put in the dent and we've got a applicator and a filler board. I've also got some masking here. So basically the idea of doing this bonnet um, is to show you how you can do it at home uh, if you just have minimal tools and you just want to fix a couple of scratches in your car. So, and this one here is with the spray gun if you have an air compressor. So we'll take you through them both. So first up, this is the dent here. And what I've done, um, I've cleaned the panel down just with a rag to clean it down first. I've cleaned them both down. Next up, we'll get that polish that we had and we'll shine it up a bit more. We'll go around this area and this area here with this compound. So the paintwork on this bonnet is actually pretty far gone already. Um, I've just done my best to polish the surrounding area and we'll do our best to make it look okay. So we'll start off by doing this dim here. We'll grab some 180 grit and just our block. So the idea of this bonnet here is I'll, I'll just pretend that it's the kind of thing you're doing at home and you don't have the air sander. So we'll just grab the block and sand that little patch back where that dent was. Now the low spot's still there, but we've scuffed it up, so that now when we put our filler into, it's going to stick. So now we've got this scratch here, so how are we going to fix the scratch? We've got two options. I would say the best option would be to just give it a quick sand back, and then put filler inside of it, rather than trying to block the whole thing back out, because you're going to end up with a, such a big repair by the time you get that bonnet straight. So. Now we've got the bump bar as well. Same thing, I'm just giving that a light scuff back and we can then put some filler into it. So this is the job that we've got the palm sander to do. The main reason I decided to make this video is because I saw a guy on YouTube and the stuff that he'd done to the car is something that I would never do and I wanted to right some wrongs and teach some people how to do it properly. So, 
This is what he did, and this is what I would never recommend doing. See how I'm holding that up on the angle? To go from the top of your paint right back down to the plastic in such a small area, it's going to leave a low spot. So this is the correct way to do it. See how I'm holding it straight? And that's feathered down through the, through the areas. Whereas that one here, is, is a low spot here. So to fix this now, we'll mix up our polyester filler. So this is our hardener for our filler. You don't need too much in it, and it's very important that you don't put too much in it because it will bleed through. And then let's take our applicator. You can use anything really, an old credit card would do the job for something like this. in for a scratch, it's going to make a big mess, so you want to pull it right out so it's only inside that scratch area. Now for that, that part that I over sanded, we'll actually have to fill that back up to make that flat again. Now back over to this one here, we'll just do the same thing. So we will just apply that filler inside here. Keep it in nice and tight, but you're still going to have a little bit in there to fill that low spot up where we had that dent. And this is where that scratch was. Same thing like that. Now, while that's drying, we'll show you the other way of fixing the scratch that we had with the block. So this is that other scratch. One eighty is the sandpaper grid I'm using. You don't want to go too much coarser, but you can see how already it's getting quite big. Whereas when you fill it up, you're just going to contain it to that small area. with some 400 grit that we had before. So now we've taken that patch down to 400 grit. We'll dust it back off. Getting some masking paper. This 
is then a little trick you can do to mark it that way and then just flip it back up to make sure there's no hard edge up against it. Next up we'll grab some 1K primer. You can replace this for two pack primer if you wanted to do it properly. Just using low pressure and as I said before there's the option to use a rattle can. You can buy them from most auto stores. So this is low pressure and we're just containing it just to where those rub screws are. We don't want it on too heavy. We're just trying to seal that down. You don't want to come and prime over here or else you're going to have a step down. Because the build up from this primer is going to stand up and then once you go to paint it you'll end up seeing that big line from where your masking was. So make sure you always stay away from your, from your masking line. So unmask that. Hopefully that should be dry by now. That's starting to dry down. It should dry down pretty quickly. I've got the, um, the heat on in this spray booth. So next up we'll grab some more 180 again to get rid of this dim. And you're just holding that block nice and flat. You don't want to edge it up too much or else you can start sanding highs and lows into it. And you just feel your hand over that, I can feel that that's still a little bit high. I'm pretty happy with that now. Just for the sake of speeding things up, rather than doing that by hand, which you, you can do, you cannot, absolutely not paint straight over that 180. You must take it down to at least 400 to paint over. So I'm, I've got 400 here, and we'll take that right down. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that now. Next up, we'll grab our Scotch Bright pad and start Scotch Brighting around all these shiny areas. The paint's not going to stick to the old paint if it's not scratched up. So I'm just doing a quick one here. This is, these panels are not going back on the car. You can spend more time sanding it down if you wanted, but this is just for a quick demo. Next up, put a bit of primer over these patches.
that back. I'll then grab this silicon remover, pop a bit onto a rag. just with the colour and this is as we're starting to put the clear on you can see it's looking a lot nicer straight away
So, from a big dent in the bonnet to what we've got here, it's probably an improvement yet. I wouldn't do that on my own car, but I'll show you how to do it. If you were doing this in your garage at home, you'd probably want to cover the rest of the car up. Cover any, um, anything that you don't want to get covered in paint, obviously, so you just get a bit of plastic or a drop sheet, or even just a sheet, anything really, it doesn't matter. Use some masking, uh, uh, masking paper. You can even use a newspaper if you want. So that's the job once it's done. The dent was here, and we fixed those two scratches that we had as well. So now we'll come back to this job over here. That second coat of base coat's just about dried down. Now this is our third coat of base, it's our effect coat because it's a um, it's a metallic colour. We want to get that metallic standing up nicely. last coat of base coat to dry, I'll just explain the next step that you could do with this bonnet. So I've only put one coat of clear on there. I'm not gonna waste the material on just something that I'm just basically doing just for a demonstration. So if you wanted to get this to look really nice, if you had a nice car, what you would do, you'd wanna put a good four coats, up to six coats of this 1K clear over it. So you're gonna have to buy a couple of cans if you wanna do your whole bonnet. To finish it off then, You'll want to get some 2000 grit sandpaper, get a bucket of water, sand that back by hand, and then you will get your buff with your cutting compound, and you will then cut that up. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm just showing you how to do the spray painting. I've got loads of other videos if you want to see the next level to take you, your work to the next level and how to do it more professional. Um, this is just a bit of a one-off video just for the, the fundamentals and the basics of spray painting. So, all right, now that's basically dried off, this, um, this second, third, sorry, the third coat of base coat. Um, and now we'll put some clear over the top of that, that two-pack clear that we mixed up before. So, I'll give this gun a quick flush through before we use our clear coat. Do you don't want base coating with your clear. But this is where we had our gun wash at the start. With this we can later on once this is dry we can uh, grab our buff and buff those two together and you'll never be able to see the difference um, if you want to make that look a bit better we can um, we can put some thinners over this edge here and that will help melt that in to because we're not painting the whole panel um, but yeah as far as this bonnet goes you're not going to get it looking much better than that short of painting the full panel but you'll be able to buff that out a, a little bit better so um, yeah, so I hope, hope you've um, learned a couple of things from this video. Any questions, I'll do my best to answer. Um, I'm quite busy. And um, yeah, thanks again for watching. This has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.